Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the PHP. Today we are going to learn about the how to implement the caching into the PHP with the help of the APCU. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So APCU stores the cached variables in a shared memory, allowing PHP processes to assess the same data without having to recalculate or retrieve it multiple times. This can be significantly speed up the applications that frequently fetch or calculate the large sets of data. Benefits, faster data access, persistent between the request, lightweight, memory efficient, and the typical use cases where we can use it, like the caching the database results, session data storage, configuration settings, frequent calculations, and the results of complex calculations or resources intensive process can be stored in the APCU for the lateral retrieval. Let's check how to implement this. Okay, so let's go to with APCU. Okay, so here we go. First of all, we have to install this. If you are the Linux user, so just copy and paste it and install this one. Okay, let's go to the terminal. Control C. Let's add this. Okay. So first of all, you have to install this and this is installed. Okay. Uh, currently, what's my PHP? I need to check PHP hyphen V. It's 8.2. So I will just mention 8.2. I need it. So you can go with this also for the PHP version. Okay, next we have to restart it. Before restarted, we have to make sure we have to add this into our respective files. So let's open the PHP NI so CD slash etc PHP LS. So I think we are going with the 8.2, right? Our version. So CD 8.2 LS. So we go with the CLI, we have a CLI, right? So CD, CLI, LS, we have a PHP. So sudo nano, we have to open the file with PHP and I, and let's paste the code over the uh, at the end of the top. Okay, let's go with the, at the end of the file, we have to add some of the text over there. At the bottom of the line, you have to insert it. Here you can just paste it, the, these lines. Okay, so this we have to paste it. Uncomment this. Control C, just paste it. Control O, Control A, Enter, Control X. Then we have to restart. Restart sudo systemctls Apache server. Restart. Okay. Now let's go back to the code cd var whtml caching php caching okay and let's run it okay so here we go with the, our apcu 
okay so here you can see that cache miss fetching data from the api so data successfully stored in the apcu cache so it's stored now i'm going to reload it serving from the apcu cache serving from the apcu cache okay now it's serving from that one okay let's comment this one this is how we have to set up okay what next so here we go with this one so check first apcu store is enabled or not check if the apcu is enabled so this is the function for that one check if the apcu is enabled for the same thing i think i had written out okay now define the a key for the cache data so this is the key that is post cache okay and now attempt to retrieve the data from the apcu cache so we are trying to get the data if it is false then we are going to call the api and store the data into the apcu store okay so store the response in the APCU cache for the one hour, right? And check if the data is successfully stored or not. So stored data successfully stored in the APCU cache, failed to store, okay? Otherwise, serving from the APCU cache and serve the cache or the fetch data like this, application JSON. Otherwise, you can whatever data, whatever in the form you can print, you can print, okay? So this is how you can do that. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.